Can you bring me some toilet paper? What'd you just do? Simon says, do you know what Simon says? This is cool. Simon says, Simon says, touch your toes. Touch your toes. Simon said, touch your toes. Simon says, put your hands on your head. Hands on your head. Simon says, look at Ava. Simon says, look at Hazel. Simon says, stick out your tongue. Someone says, can you do the taco? Taco! Who could do the taco? Parker can. Parker, Parker can do taco! Hazel. Look at Hazel. Hazel's trying. Can you do taco? Nope, Blake can do it. Go. Simon. Oh, good job, Ava. Simon. Exposing the girls to coding at home is um, really in everything we do, really. I mean, when you're cooking, you know, mixing stuff, what happens if I do this before that? Or, you know, do I go ahead and bake this? Or can we eat this now? No, we need to bake it. I mean, those are kind of if-then statements and how do we get to the point that we need? Um, you know, just sorting laundry, you know, organizing this utensil drawer because spoons, forks, and knives go together and they love helping out with that. And um, I mean, Organizing toys, which mom loves, because how do you play with a toy if you don't have all the right pieces? <laughs> so, <laughs> organizing Legos here and baby dolls here and playing with water balloons or going outside and playing with certain toys. All of those things are really formalizing some aspects of coding and problem solving and how do we get to the solution? Simon says, kick your feet, kick your feet, kick your feet, kick your feet, kick your feet. Kick, 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 kick. Sentences. Stomp your feet. Stop. Oh, we all did good. You gotta listen, and when it says Simon says, that's when we do, but Blake didn't say Simon says, so we continued to stomp our feet. Yeah. Right, Blake? Stop. Do you know what this is? We're like doing simply coding, just like with Botley. Do you know that? We're following orders. It's like simple coding stuff. Stop. We're coding. Do you know that? We're coding. I'm telling you a pattern to follow and you follow it. Just like you do with Botley. So you set a code and Botley's supposed to follow it, right? Yeah. So even fun, simple games like Simon Says is coding. So we got involved with Botley because Blake loved the Code and Go mouse uh, a couple months ago last year and just her now being in first grade and just learning more, understanding concepts and how to get from A to B and she just has really formed an interest around electronics but also um, things that take some problem solving and understanding steps and that um, she doesn't necessary she thinks a lot like both of us do but differently but like I want she continuously wants to learn on how to get to this and how to make something do that I mean exposing the girls to coding at home is um, really in everything we do really I mean when you're cooking you know mixing stuff what happens if I do this before that or you know do I go ahead and bake this or can we eat this now no we need to bake it I mean those are kind of if-then statements and how do we get to the point that we need um, you know just sorting laundry you know organizing this utensil drawer because spoons forks and knives go together and they love helping out with that and um, I mean Organizing toys, which mom loves, because how do you play with a toy if you don't have all the right pieces? <laughs> so, <laughs> organizing Legos here and baby dolls here and playing with water balloons or going outside and playing with certain toys. All of those things 
are really formalizing some aspects of coding and problem solving and how do we get to the solution and also like verbalizing those steps like this is we need to do this before that and then trying to get them to understand and respond to you like what do we do next mm -hmm. like i need to brush our teeth like okay what do we need toothbrush toothbrush and then they'll go put it in their mouth it's like what did we miss we need toothpaste and so then you put toothpaste and maybe a little bit of water and then i always brush first and then let them brush first and so there's those little steps too that come to having nice clean healthy teeth and breath <laughs> hey, yeah. no say riley's turn okay go sit by ava and finish brushing Brush good. Go in the back. Oh! <laughs> now it's Hazel's turn. Hey, Hazel, who brushes first? Hazel. Mommy. Mommy. And then what? We put toothpaste. Toothpaste. From the top back on. The butt back on. And then we open big. And we do bottom. Mmm. Ooh, rainbow. And then we do. What's next? Top? Top. Cheese. Cheese. Whoop. Can't get back there. Hey, so tight. Robots are like the future, right? I mean, they're going to be doing everything in our house one day. and <laughs> But they can be a little bit like scary looking, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But Bodley is so cute with his big old eyes and the quince actually love him I mean he makes funny noises and he says hi and he says Botley or yippee <laughs> they just like crack up and they're like holy cow this robot's talking to me and they love it I think he's gonna say Botley I think he's gonna say hi I'm Botley Botley <gasps> he said Botley okay listen listen do it again you remember what the code is to make yeah. him say his name four four left on four Got Good. Okay. All right. Let's see if you can do it. See if Bobby. Four, four, left, left, left. Left, left. Daddy. Left. 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 One thing that I think we enjoy the most is that it's not screen time. I mean, kids today just want to be in front of the TV, want to be on an iPad or an iPhone or something electronical. Well, this is electronical, but like, look how cool it is. I mean, she can play with this for hours and not be like burning her eyes because she's been looking at a screen all day. And so I love that aspect. I mean, it's like how much time are you going to get on screen time today? And, you know, with this, she's occupied for hours. Bali's our new little pet. <laughs> to get Botley and other great learning resources toys, visit learningresources.com.